I'll be very short because it is about workshop. We have to work a lot, not uh, do a you know monologue. Uh, I'll just give a little background that uh, why we are here. Uh, uh, UNICEF, you all know, not many of you would know Digital Empowerment Foundation uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, but uh, unlike many other UN organizations, we found that UNICEF really is on the ground and working in various states. And uh, when we started talking to each other in terms of, uh, no, I really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> because we work with many UN organization. <laughs> so uh, uh, we, uh, incidentally, for the last 10 years, we have been working in the ICT for development sector uh, very, very strongly on the ground in terms of implementation, in terms of identifying who works on the ground, who is really using ICT tools. When I say ICT tools, it can be radio, TV, mobile, uh, LCD projector, computers, laptops, tablets, you can really name it, uh, in, name any of them, uh, uh, how they are impacting. And since we have a huge uh, amount of uh, number of best practices, we started talking to each other together that how mobile, which is emerging as the mass media now, there is no nothing else mass media than mobile. We thought that, you know, how to find out to do a social and behavioral change area to target. One year back, I didn't know what is the meaning of social and behavioral change, uh, except that you experience every day in your life, and you don't know why, uh, how medium and the tool uh, impact it. And, uh, uh, and then we started looking at how really mobile is making a change in our life, how we are adopting it, like Sanjay said, we have more mobiles than toilets. Uh, perhaps we have alternative to toilet, but not to mobile, I guess, because it's it's cheap and it's it allows you to communicate, and it doesn't even allow you to change your language, or you be literate. You know that's a very important thing. This is this is one tool who doesn't ask you to be literate. Everything else asks you to be literate. It's also natural in terms of medium. It's audiovisual, and uh, therefore it's it's very very uh, you know natural to the medium, the nature that has given to you, which is orally communicating to the people in the language that you want to. And, uh, and, and then uh, we started looking at what are the best practices. We did last year in, in Delhi, and that was very overwhelming uh, in terms of finding out how it really is changing uh, life. But ultimately, you know, you have to go to the ground to find out uh, how you are going to implement it. Uh, so there are three sectors that we really see that it is creating an impact, education, health, and uh, governance, uh, you know, sector. And we were looking at some numbers, and numbers are pathetic. You know, even though it looks like that uh, huge amount of uh, you know impact is happening, and mobile itself is a is a is a uh, big uh, interference. But uh, even if you are looking at mobile, which is the largest medium penetrated in Madhya Pradesh itself, we don't have more than uh, you know 15 to 20 percent uh, mobile being used in rural areas. So even and that is the highest medium that that anyway goes inside. So we will come into that number, but I'm just telling you these three parameters on which we, th we should think of how we are going to work together in the next two days, is that what are the numbers which are lying on the ground whom you have to touch? That's basically it. In the governance, you have to see how many panchayats are there, how many elected members are there, and how we can reach them. Also because one third of those elected members are women. So it directly relates to. Similarly, we have to look at, look at the numbers, how many Anganwadi workers are there, how many PHCs are there, CHCs are there, and SHCs are there. And how those numbers, each one of those numbers which interact with them or talk to them. We don't even have to look at the last mile number, I would say. We, even if we look at the institutional number and if we look at them uh, to, in, uh, to, to connect them, it will make a huge difference. And similarly in education also. We have to look at the schools, we have to look at the teachers. Perhaps we look at the students at the end. Because usually in, in, in uh, you know, what you call as a populist uh, announcement, we announce laptops free, but we forget that every teacher has to be monitored to be there in the class or not. You know, you just can't do anything. And mobile allows you to track every teacher if he's going into the class or not with location. You don't have to do anything, but we are not developing that application at all. 
So unless the teacher is in the class, there will be no student in the class. So, so these are very, uh, so we need to also look at how we are looking at the most simplest solution and high impact. I think that is extremely important. We don't have to become hep to have the most advanced Android based app reaching none. And we can be as simple as having a SIM which is working, but you are able to talk to the person on a daily basis or track them on a daily basis or even track them on a daily basis. So these are, these are some, of the, some of the outlines that I would say that we should, we should uh, think of working together in the next two days, apart from the organization that we have invited them to make a presentation. They may not be the most appropriate solution for masses, for all kind of solution. But what we need to do is that what kind of small element that can be added to those uh, you know, tools that has been developed, which will make it go wild, which will go, go wide and reach to all. That's all we have to look into. But keeping these areas and the numbers is very, very important. And I'm extremely glad to see that we have very good number of, uh, you know, government officials here and from the ground. So that really gives a lot of encouragement that we are going to have a discussion which is going to be healthy and realistic. So we are really going to be colloquial kind of discussion here, which is very good to come out with a very good solution. And I would say that all the government officials, we are talking about finding a solution through you to the people of the country and your state. So you have to really participate in giving us a wisdom and the knowledge that you have from the ground that what kind of app or the application or the tool that you are really looking for all will solve your problem in solving the problem of the citizen. That's all basically is the, is the outcome of this entire meeting that we are going to have in the next two days. That's all I have to say and uh, let's work together in the next two days. Thank you for all to come here and uh, you know, make your time available to make it uh, workable. Thank you very much.